CNN cuts away from a mother whose baby girl is a victim of illegal aliens that raped and killed her. <laughs> President Trump holds press conference from Mar-a-Lago, makes major announcement. Just one week before the November general election, former President Donald Trump delivered remarks to the press from Mar-a-Lago on Tuesday. And he made a major announcement, but also President Trump started with the tragic story of Jocelyn Nungare, who was brutally raped and murdered by illegal aliens. Her mother has made a viral video that President Trump was going to air for the entire world to see just how destructive Kamala Harris's open border is. And of course, the fake news, CNN, cuts away. If you take a look at Venezuela, their crime is way, way, way down. Then you go to Caracas and you wouldn't recognize it. You can actually walk the streets without, without being shot or killed or mugged. It's becoming a safe city because they've taken all their criminals. Most of them, the rest are coming. They're all coming. They've taken their drug dealers and they've put them into the United States of America. Thank you very much, Kamala. I appreciate it. But she continues and she will continue this Misery and her policies have caused uh, such harm and such pain. And the three great people up here with me are going to just discuss that for a little while about what's happened to them, how their lives have been shattered. I'd like to begin with the story of one mother whose life Kamala has utterly destroyed, destroyed this life. And we're talking about thousands, thousands of people in very similar situations every day under Kamala, open border policies. She, and if you remember, Joe Biden appointed her as the border czar. We're dip out of uh, Donald Trump's it's remarks there. He is, he is making a number of false claims. So we want to interrupt what he is saying. You see, this is why people hate the fake news media. This is why people hate the mainstream legacy media. They believe that they are the arbiters of truth, and they also believe they are the ones that get to vet what you can or cannot hear. Even if Trump is lying, I want to hear it. We know he's not lying, but these people believe that they are the fact checkers, and they get to determine what you can or cannot hear. Trump is telling the truth, and we know that's why CNN, the fake news, is attempting to desperately suppress it so Kamala Harris doesn't look as bad as she really is. So here at the Gateway Pundit, we will show you the truth that CNN is trying to hide from you. I asked her to not stay up super late because of her coming to work with me in the morning for us to do her summer school. She said, okay. I told her good night and I love you. I went to bed, not realizing that that was gonna be the last time I saw her. Hmm? We're best friends. Yeah. <laughs> Go shaking again. I woke up to notice she wasn't in her bed. I'm in my heart trying not to lose my mind because I don't know where she is. I finally remembered her phone had a location on and her phone was pinging just two minutes down the road right behind the skate park. I start driving to the direction the phone was being pinged at and I see a couple cop cars with lights on. I see yellow tape and immediately my heart drops and sinks to the bottom of my stomach. My daughter's hands and ankles were both bound. She was strangled to death with left with no pants. And I know in my heart she fought incredibly hard. She was not going down without a fight. We begin with two men we're learning are charged with capital murder tonight, accused of killing a 12-year-old girl. Police say these men strangled her before dumping her into that creek. Both men were in the country illegally. Apprehended, then released by Border Patrol less than three weeks before Jocelyn's death. The men accused of killing Jocelyn Nungare are affiliated with the gang, known for brutal violence. Kamala Harris was in charge of immigration in our borders. If we had better border policies and not open borders and not these catch and release policies. I truly believe this all could have been prevented. Under her being vice president of this country, my daughter's life 
was ripped away from her. She had her entire life ahead of her. Happy birthday, dear Jocelyn. My daughter is six feet in the ground based off of policies that she allowed to keep. Kamala Harris did have one job and she not only failed, not me, she failed my daughter, she failed Jocelyn. You know, she was only 12. President Trump reached out, gave me his sincerest condolences as not a former president, but just as a father, someone who cares. I believe Donald Trump needs to be back in office. I can at least know that my next child will be safe in this country. Well, does it make sense why CNN would cut away when Trump is about to play that very video? Of course, CNN is gonna cut away from that video. They're there to run cover for Kamala Harris. They're there to make Kamala Harris look good. They're there to cover the open border catastrophe that has happened all under her watch. This will continue. And this is why they don't want people seeing the very disastrous and evil and murderous truth of Kamala Harris's open border. President Trump also highlighted American mother Tammy Nobles. Tammy's daughter, she was 20 years old, Kayla Hamilton, had an autism diagnosis. She was found raped, tied up, and strangled to death by illegal aliens that came in under Kamala Harris's watch. I just wanted to say that Homeland Security did not do their job. Health and Human Services did not do their job. The Biden-Harris administration did not do their job. If they would have done their job, made that one phone call to El Salvador, my daughter would still be alive today. Kayla was a very beautiful young lady inside and out. She was independent, learning to become independent. She had two jobs. She overcame obstacles dealing you know, with autism and was able to find a job that she loved. She loved animals, especially her cat, Oreo, and she cared about the homeless. She loved God and she loved going to church. And her life was just ripped from her three days after she celebrated her 20th birthday. Thank you for having me here today. You see the mainstream media, Kamala Harris, the Democrat party, they know that this is happening. It's not that they're naive or ignorant to the fact that Americans, autistic Americans, women, children, men are being murdered, brutally raped, and left for dead. They know. They know. They just don't care. President Trump also highlighted Christy Shamblin, mother-in-law of fallen Marine Corps Sergeant Nicole G, who was killed at Abbey Gate. And she had some pretty harsh, deserved words for Kamala Harris. Hi, good, good afternoon, good morning. Um, my name is Christy Shamblin, and my daughter-in-law was Sergeant Nicole Leanne G. And she was killed in the botched Afghanistan exit at Abbey Gate. She was the cornerstone of a very large family. And instead of planning family gatherings and holiday meals and Christmases, and baby showers. Our family and thousands of other families plan outings at funeral grave sites. And that is where we as a family celebrate my daughter-in-law at Arlington National Cemetery because she is in the ground. Her story isn't unique to our family. She's just ours. There are thousands and thousands and thousands of wounded veterans who came home from that war, who need our help and who are ignored by our current administration. President Trump demonstrates peace through strength. I know what he told the Taliban when he was negotiating with them because I've made it my business to know. And what he said to them when he was negotiating with the Taliban, he said, I will kill you if you harm one hair on one head of an American. <laughs> 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 
President Trump shows up, he reaches out, and he can fix our country, and we can all heal together. The contrast between President Trump and Kamala Harris is abundantly clear. With President Trump, we can make America great again, safe again, and strong again. But with Kamala Harris, we're gonna continue to nosedive and plunge further and further and further into destruction, not only because she's a DEI hire that has no idea what she's doing, but she's a plant. She's there for a reason. She's there to facilitate as a puppet the globalist New World Order destruction of the West. So Kamala violated her oath. She desecrated our laws and she got innocent girls like Jocelyn tortured and killed. Anyone who knowingly sets loose these monsters into our country has absolutely no right to be running for office, let alone the office of president. No right. President Trump is not all talk, no action. He's all talk, action. He's the complete opposite. As a result today, he announced a new policy if elected president will roll out immediately. President Trump announced that his administration will seize the assets of the criminal gangs and drug cartels and use them to set up a compensation fund for the victims of illegal alien crimes. So today, I'm announcing that for the first time under my administration, we will be seizing the assets of the criminal gangs and drug cartels. And we will use those assets to create a compensation fund to provide restitution for the victims of migrant crime and the government will help in the restoration. The government will help in the restitution. And meanwhile, Kamala Harris is bombing at her rallies, stirring up, I don't know, gibberish, nonsense. You tell me what this is. Awkward and embarrassing moment ensues when Kamala Harris asks her supporters to shout their names during Michigan rally. Okay, now I want each of you to shout your own name. Do that. <laughs> yeah, she truly is the diversity hire in chief. If this woman becomes president, I'll tell you right now, if you think America is cooked now, America will be completely roasted, cooked, and annihilated if this woman becomes president of the United States. You see, this is why we need strength in the White House. This is why we need strength in a president. This is why we need strength when it comes to our leadership, because without it, we become weak and the rest of the world sees it and capitalizes on it immediately. This is why we need Donald J. Trump back in the White House. My name is Drew Hernandez for The Gateway Pundit. This has been On Watch with Drew Hernandez, and I'll see you guys on the next one.